You know, I was very insensitive to the caller, the whole pushing, the comment specifically where I was like, I could tell what you are based on your voice or whatever. Very, very gross and bad, okay? Like, I totally acknowledge that. Um, and the whole bottom diaper thing, okay, I get I, I understand now, like, what I said was offensive. I totally understand Dan's reaction to say, you know, just shut the fuck up and unsubscribe. Sometimes it just doesn't feel reasonable. This is what you get with Ethan, man. Like, this is, was, he pushes boundaries and he pushes buttons and it's not targeted. And you can think that that's rude and over the line and you might even be right. But I'm indiscriminate with my inappropriate questions. <laughs> yes. That's how I fucking talk to people on this show. Yeah. I find it interesting to make people squirm a little bit or make uncomfortable or ask the questions that you know you shouldn't. I like to create these situations. I think they're interesting. Right. Let's yeah. check our tone a little bit. What the fuck? Did I really perpetuate a horrific stereotype? Top, bottom stuff, whatever. A, a joke in poor taste. Some people, I think, are too sensitive to watch this show. It really makes me understand how people like Tim Pool and Steven Crowder and Dave Rubin and all these fucking goons on the right that are just vile freaks that, you know, I despise on many levels. Uh, I understand how they exist and why people, why so many people watch them. It's because they get tired of being called racist and homophobic. I understand I, I can hold some, like, homophobic, uh, like, to say, oh, you think it's okay to make that joke. But some of y'all think you're doing a good thing, genuinely. But I actually think that a lot of what's going on is making things much, much worse. People take it way too fucking far. And it makes it way, way worse. Horrific? It's a strong word, don't you think? Me making an offensive joke is not horrific. I agree that I have tendencies and stuff that I'm working on. You know, what kind of fucking relationship are you in where every week you're not good enough? That's an abusive relationship. But, like, at a certain point, it's fucking just, it's not healthy. It's fucked up. You know, if you find yourself watching the show and being upset... Perpe episode, every week. Every, after every episode, you, you turn it off and you're just like, ugh, you know... This is my heart sank at everything he was saying, and and you know, it, it's just so upsetting. I, it, just just step away. I mean, uh, like I was trying to say. I mean, it it just might. It it's probably healthier for you to not watch something that upsets you on a weekly basis or almost on a daily basis. Yeah, without saying like, "Hey, fuck you," and you're the worst. It's just like there's probably different shows for you that. You can watch and not get so upset. You know, just saying. I don't think what I did was horrific. I, I don't. And I'm sorry if some of you all fucking want me to, you know, cut my s fucking wrists open for you and nail myself to the cross. It wasn't horrific. Okay? And I'm sick of fucking feeling bad every week. Like I goddamn strangled a... Like I threw a bag of puppies in a river. I did do some things that were homophobic or like, you know, a little ignorant, let's say. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about it. On one hand, I do apologize. And on another hand, you know, I do feel like I need to defend myself and the show. And damn. So there you have it. If y'all want to fucking cancel me again for what I said, be my guest. I got nothing else to say about it. I'll do another apology next week.